once again, we want to welcome you to this video. And we are covering our third week on the Lord's Prayer. And uh, the third point is, let your kingdom come. <clears throat> let your kingdom come. What is God's kingdom? God's kingdom speaks of his rule. It speaks of his authority. It speaks of his control in our lives, in the world, and uh, in the universe. And the question I want to ask you, does God have control over your life? Does God have control over everything that has to do with you? Because if he does not have control over your life, then his kingdom has not yet come inside you. And for God to kingdom to come inside you, you have to surrender your life and start living for him. So if you have not started doing that, you need to ask God to allow his kingdom first to be manifest in your own personal life before you can uh, take it to other people. And after you have allowed the kingdom of God to come into you, in other words, you have surrendered your are life, you have surrendered your finances, you have surrendered your marriage or your family to the Lord. Now, you can now start extending the kingdom of God. That is God's rule, God's reign, God's authority, God's power, God's control over the other people. As you get concerned about their salvation and you start witnessing to them and telling them about Jesus Christ and his love for them and the salvation. So I don't know whether you have already started doing that so that God's kingdom can come not only to you, but to other people. And after that, you need to ask God, what is my assignment? When God saved you, he left you on this world, not for you to just make a lot of money and to attend to your own needs and the issues, but he left you here because he wants you to extend his kingdom. And you need to ask him, what is my assignment, Lord? What can you be able to do in the kingdom of God? Can you sing? Can you pray? Can you teach Sunday school? Can you evangelize? Can you witness? Can you disciple? There are so many people in this world that are suffering, that are going through pain. Even without COVID-19, there is enough pain, there is enough trouble, there is enough suffering in this world. And you need to ask God, what is my assignment? and start fulfilling it. And by doing that, you'll be extending the kingdom of God across the globe. So even during this COVID-19 period, God has given us an opportunity to expand his kingdom right there under your roof. That is your first mission ground. That is your first mission field, your family your husband, your wife, your children. Start ministering to them. Start equipping them. Start preparing them. Start empowering them. Pray for them so that they might become all God wanted them to become. And once you do that, you'll be answering that prayer that Jesus Christ was praying. Let your kingdom come. May your king, uh, God's kingdom be established in your life, in your family, and uh, in the atmosphere and uh, the environment where you operate and where you have influence. Let's pray. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, once again, we want to thank you for this opportunity that you have given unto us to partner with you to extend your kingdom. And first and foremost, we are praying let your kingdom be made manifest in our own personal lives and let it permeate our families, our friends, our spheres of influence, our offices, and every other area that you have given unto us. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done and be established in this world in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Let's meet next week for the other telecast on the same.